All right. So uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start this up. I'll try to be quick, quickish. We're, we're dragging a little bit on time. Uh, I'll, I'll do my best. So um, my presentation is about the A1222 Plus. So I was uh, anointed the A1222 Plus release coordinator last year sometime, right? And I did I did a presentation here. I don't know if every not everyone was here. And I was talking about how it's coming soon and something about November, which I, I, I don't want to remember. And uh, <laughs> so things, so what I wanted to do here was just to wrap up what happened since last year. So this is last time, this is what I was talking about. Then last time I also did a list of must-haves and a list of nice-to-haves. So I thought, oh, I'll show you what actually got done for a change. So, so I, yes, U-Boots, Working, Amigo S working, Enhancer is working, Graphics Driver, Ethernet, Audio Driver, all on there. No, nothing's missing. Um, the nice to have is I had Linux, and there's a Linux for it. And Warp 3D Nova was a nice to have, got that on there. Updated TRM, did that. Uh, single source of info and files, well, kind of, sort of, not a single absolute website you could go to and get everything you need, but it's close. So, I put a little plus sign on that one because it's not quite there. There's not a single source of everything you need, but it's close. <laughs> it's still, still a little bit. So what went wrong? <laughs> so I listed some of the things that went wrong. You know, in a project, how things always go wrong. Well, first thing that could went wrong was our audio driver um, developer. His board blew up. So. <laughs> He couldn't finish the audio driver for a while, so we got him a loaner, right? It was hard to get a loaner because these boards were rare back then. Now they, they have lots of boards, but back then, hard. Temperature sensor. The manufacturer decided to substitute the part, or, or we substituted the part. Anyway, it doesn't matter because it broke everything. So what, what we were doing that day was the board bring up was happening, right? Uh, that's when you power it on first time, and it was shut down. You bring it up and it shut down. It's like, well, this is not good. <laughs> we want to make a thousand of these things. <laughs> so it turned out the temperature sensor, um, the part substitution, they changed one register where the temperature is read from. And we didn't know that. We figured it out, changed that little one line of code, and then everything worked. Boom, board came up. So they, that took a, a while. I think we're talking weeks, I think. I think it was weeks. Yeah. Elapsed time. Um, extra USB ports didn't work. Right? That was another problem. Because there's, there's another chip on there to do the USB ports. And I can't remember exactly what it was Trevor does. But it was either not soldered on or they, something. They forgot. They forgot the chip? Yeah, they forgot to put the chip on during placement. I think it was. The, they forgot to put in the place, placement. <laughs> And then, uh, geez, that was incredible. Uh, sorry about that. The audio driver issue. That's an audio driver issue. Oh. Anyway, uh, no, no one needs to go to the washroom now. <laughs> yeah, I made a mess here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they put the chip on and after, so post, post assembly. So the chip's there, don't worry, They're, all the ports are working, but <laughs> forgot to put the port. Uh, audio driver DMA didn't work. Uh, we had an audio driver using polling, and when you ran it, that, what that means is you get choppy audio when other things are running at the same time. It was choppy, 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 didn't work. Uh, this, this particular audio chip likes DMA, and uh, direct memory access, I guess, I don't know how technical everybody is, but you need DMA to make this work because the little, the audio chip that was put on there had, what was it, 8 byte buffer? That was it. So you had to feed this thing constantly, right? The audio buffer to get a waveform coming out and you make noise. And the only way to do that efficiently is DMA. So without that, it was pretty brutal. It worked okay, but you know. anyway, we figured it out in the end. It was a kernel fix. The kernel was broken. Not configured correctly. Configuration problem. Uh, NGFS, that's the 
what do we call that, new next generation file system bug? So yeah, preparing everything, got it all ready, try it out, got memory corruption on the disk. Well, this is a bad time to find out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not really okay. Uh, so the NGFS, which is the, the default file system, wasn't working. It's like, not good. So I worked with, uh, with the developer on that for a while, and we narrowed it down, figured it out last minute, got the fix in and just in time right? for, that, for, for that problem. Uh, that was uh, nasty, because what I noticed was I was using a 2 gig drive, a very tiny one. Then I used a 4 gig drive, and it didn't work. Go back to 2, it works. Go back to 4, it works. It doesn't work. Weird problem, right? <laughs> and uh, finally figured it out. But uh, that again added another two, three weeks. Why is that thing blanking out? <coughs> That's odd. Mm. Mm. Oh, not that thing again. Go away. That sticky keys thing. No, no. <clears throat> a bit of a video issue. Unplugged and plugged back in. There it goes. It's stable? Stay. Uh, incompatible software components. So we found out after everything was brought up that some components didn't work, some did, most most did, some didn't. So I had to revert or disable the components that didn't work. <sighs> yeah, all that wonderful stuff. And then, of course, there was just delays and delays waiting for this, holidays, uh, you know. People coming and going, so that just pushed the date out more and more and more. We were trying to get it out for Christmas, I believe, right? Yeah. So which of those uh, faults created the longest time to repair? Oh, what, what took the longest? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Probably the kernel one, actually, because that was brutal. That took months to find. Okay. A lot of work. A lot of work to find that, that, that uh, audio driver bug. Yeah. Well, the audio driver worked. Well, the audio driver was fine, actually. That, that yeah, was the, it the red herring. It, it was fine all the time. <laughs> but if you had more than two gig of memory, and it didn't. Yeah, it was another symptom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. It was, it was oh. nasty. That one took the longest. Yeah. yeah months in that one. Um, so eventually, I, I believe that the month was March that we finally shipped, right? Okay. The, the guy in charge is not in here. <laughs> oh my goodness, so that includes uh, both Amigo OS Final Edition and Enhancer 2.2. And as a bonus, they threw DB Player on there, full DB Player with uh, hardware acceleration. So that was nice, nice little bonus there. <laughs> Didn't have to, but uh, wanted to make sure. So one of the cool things about having the hardware acceleration was you could play multiple movies at the same time and they all just go, right? It's really cool. <laughs> For an Amiga, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> um, so also, what was included was full-featured Radeon HD and RX drivers, uh, a new U-boot with NGFS boot capabilities. Um, yeah, the, the bootable USB stick is a nice, uh, a nice, uh, uh, what would I call it? <laughs> A nice, pro a nice product, it, it, Aeon produces it, and uh, what you can do is you can take the USB stick, and it's got everything you could possibly need to boot it, and you just put that in and it boots. It's like a, a live Linux distribution. You can just pop it in and it boots. Uh, that's, uh, that's a new thing for Amiga. So, usually you had to put in a CD, and do this, and do that, and it takes quite a while to, to get a system working. So. That was a wonderful innovation, having that bootable USB flash drive. So uh, hopefully, that's the only way we deliver software from now on, besides updates over the internet. US, bootable USB and that, because the CDs are, well, it's hard to find a drive even now, actually. They're still around, but yeah, yeah. The CD, CD-ROMs are quite dead. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, I had to whip up an installation script quickly, because. How do you get from the USB onto the onto the hard drive? So, did a little uh, script there and got that working quickly. Another another thing that had to be done. So it's all these steps, Ooh. and uh, finally got it out the door. 
That was a fun. Oh yeah, the, I wanted to mention the, the huge team that it took to get that board out again. Just a, a nice mention of all of them. Uh, so that's all the corporations involved. There's a lot of corporations. A lot of corporations involved. All of them needed to cooperate in some form or another to get this out. It was uh, quite, quite a nasty big team. And then of course the human team. There's quite a few humans involved as well. <laughs> this is just uh, an incomplete list, I call it, but most of the, the key people are on there. You can see I, I just did it in alphabetical order. No preferences. <laughs> first name alphabetical. Yeah. Yeah, first name. First name. A little different. A little. Yeah, why not? It's my slide. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to everybody on the list. I guess I'm on there, but <laughs> big huge thanks because um, a lot of these people work for free or put in extra time, right? Because if we've actually paid everybody proper base, yeah, this thing costs like ten thousand dollars a board, right? <laughs> so, or more. <laughs> yeah. So that was a huge thing. Oh, and there's a little bit of a teaser here, so. There are updates coming. There are updates. There are already some component updates out there that you can get through Amy Update or Updater, depending on what the component is. And um, there is a updated kernel with a faster CPU cache coming soon, soonish. So we found another uh, issue with the kernel there that the CPU you can get about what was it, twenty percent? I think it was twenty percent speed increase on some operations. It's a cache, so that's not everything. Um, also planning to update the USB flash drive. That's another thing we want to make sure to get the new updates on there and update that sometime soon-ish. I'm not going to make any dates, but uh, that's, that's what's coming down the pipeline. Uh, there, there is supposed to be updates coming soon, so we'll see how that works. But, uh, and that's all I had for the A1222 Plus. So now I'm off the hook, except for the, maybe the flash drive, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I'm not involved anymore, so it's over. It was, it was quite the project. So. There you go. Any questions on uh, what happened? And, uh, oh, yeah, Mike. What happened? <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then uh, you can buy them. That's the other big thing, right? They're actually for sale. Uh, you can buy them, ship them, all that good stuff right now. So they are available. I think there'll be more news tomorrow on that. Did you bring it in here? I personally am not involved with sales. Oh, so, oh, that oh, man, yeah. over there. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple here. Oh, oh, for Matthew. Matthew, oh, yeah. Matthew, right there. Put your hand up. Okay. If, if you need one, that's the guy I talk to. <laughs> it's not mine, because I'm buying it. <laughs> <laughs> Just asking. Yeah, yeah. He knows all the details about sales. I, I, I uh, try to stay out of that. Steve underplayed his role, by the way. Without Steve as the cat herd, as he said, it wouldn't have happened. Mm -hmm. Steve really put it together. Thank you for that. Now, I, I did have another short thing I wanted to do. I, I have a few minutes. Uh, that one. Well, really, it's thanks to Kevin. Yeah, really. I mean. So Steve had time. Yeah. <laughs> Indirectly. Indirectly. Yeah. Yes, I could. Uh, you thank me for um, not employing him at the time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Kevin. My highly skilled ability yes. to. And thanks to your wife. Yeah. Oh yeah. She uh, tolerates a lot. Um, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah. Um, I did wanted to throw a little surprise thing in there about how did I how did I actually create that USB flash drive? Because this is something users out there in Amiga land who use OS4 really should know how to make their own, right? So I thought oh, I'm going to give you a little preview of what it takes to make one of these suckers. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> So I wanted to go through a little blurb here. So I call it baking your own. So these are all the things you need to get going. First, you need some system. 
already existing to, to do the file system uh, formatting. So you need something, right? Now I, I use NGFS, but you can use whatever file system you want. Whatever. Uh, target USB flash drive, I recommend four gig or a bit larger. I tried with two gig, a little too small. Just because of all the extras I put on. Because I put like web browsers on there, you know, da, 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 da. but if you keep it to just Amigo OS and Enhancer, you only need two. It fits fine, fine with two. Uh, you need the ISO, you need the LRT file. These are things that you have to buy. Uh, disk image GUI, that's free. You can get that off the internet. And I just wanted to go through a couple things here. So I'm going to go quickly to try and not take too much of your time. You can read the screen. Uh, so the first thing you got to do is prepare the flash drive to install Amigo OS and Enhancer, right? So you got to use the other machine for that. So you plug it into your other machine. You make you make your partition. I just use one large partition. That's it. Then you make it. Give it a name, auto mount, bootable, boot priority. Boot priority one is important. You want it one higher than zero so that you can boot off of it when you have a hard drive in there and they're not conflicting with each other all the time. You just format it as usual. Now there's more steps in this in the background, but I'm just going to gloss over it. Then you install the OS. Now the OS is delivered as an ISO file. So you have to mount it. So I use this image GUI to mount it. Once I mount it, I just go in there and I double click the installer, go through all of the questions, just default, 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 don't care, don't care, don't care, just give me default. Then you gotta go in there and fix it because they did it wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> the installer doesn't do a decent job. So you have to go in there and fix the monitors, you have to fix, you have to, you know, you don't have drivers, right? <laughs> Because if you have a Gradient RX, you can't boot this thing. So what I do is I go to Enhancer, suck out the drivers, copy them over, edit the kick layout, and now I have video drivers on there with Amigo X. So it's all, it's just a basic blank thing, right? But not all the drivers are there yet. It's, they're all on Enhancer, right? So then I install Enhancer. So I boot from this drive, wait for the pointless system snapshot. <laughs> I, that's, a, that's a dig at the guys because they said, why are you making a snapshot when everything's not on there yet? So I, I go in there, I, I suffer through waiting for three, five minutes for it to finish a snapshot. And then I just delete the file because it's useless. Because <laughs> I haven't put the drivers on yet. Then I, then I uh, install Enhancer using their installer. And that's where the Ethernet and audio drivers are coming from. So you got dri those drivers kind of over here and over there. Then I have to fix all the problems with Enhancer because Enhancer has some buggy stuff. So I the revert AVPDF PDF and the, these, these, a few things like this. Because they don't quite work right on the 1222. So for whatever reason, so uh, you know, file some bug reports and get them fixed. Then, uh, oh yeah, there's a cyclic dependency in there I had to fix and then uh, Disable another thing, disk cache library is buggy for some reason. Uh, you can add smart file system, another component if you like it, to the kick layout. So, these, so you can see what I do is I, I run the official installer and I fix things. I run the official installer and I fix things. That's kind of the, the thing you have to do. Then you do cleanup. So you got, now you have your Amigo S installed, you have your Enhancer installed. Well, there's some stuff in there you don't need. So I removed a bunch of stuff, did, 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 moved it around, made some space. Then I put some extras on there. And now I can run the system snapshot because it's got everything I really need on there. And that system snapshot gives you uh, the capability to detect changes to your operating system. Right? So if, if you do an update, it'll say, oh, you updated this. And it, it'll tell you, it's kind of like Windows snapshot in a way. It, gives, it does a big hash of everything. So you, it can detect what files have changed. So I like to have that to check to see if some script or something underneath went and changed something without my knowledge. Right, so system snapshot's a good way to detect it. What is like that? Is that a C command, a script? What is it? Yeah, it's a C command. What? I, I use, it's called Chexus. So oh, the Chexus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. As a beta test, you should know about that. <laughs> well, it's not called system snapshot. Yeah, that's true. Anyway, uh, <laughs> then I just installed uh, extra software like a web browser, or whatever. 
you know, set up the Ethernet drivers, whatever I want to do to make my USB stick just the way I like it. Then you don't ever touch it again. And that's a hard thing to do. Because <laughs> this, the idea is this is for emergencies, right? Now some people, they, they want to go farther and make it a system boot thing, but at that point I, I take an image of it, store it away, never touch it again until I need it, right? So that, that's, that's kind of the, the whole cycle I had to go through about 30 times, round and round and round, fixing things, moving things. So yep. does the version of your boot on the motherboard know how to boot off the uh, NGFS system, or yeah. where does it look? Oh, it does. Yeah, it can boot. Awesome. Oh, yeah. The <coughs> motherboard boots off the of NGFS, no problems. Yeah. Oh, yeah, then I got a little cake there. <laughs> you, <enjoy it. laughs> you know, I tried using Dolly to make this. Uh, it's a defective, of course. <laughs> that's, that's our best AI we have so far. I can't even make a boing ball cake. But it's coming. It's, it's getting better. <laughs> what was the problem? <laughs> I just said, give me a cake with a checkerboard, red and white, did 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 that's what it's been. <laughs> it's like three poker chips. It's close, but you see the flaws there. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. You had better luck with Dolly than I have. But. So um, there's a question online from First Ninja. Um, Ninja? Ooh. First Ninja. Oh, no. Is that right? Not the second one. The first one. The first one. Um, does it mean that the OS is now feature complete on the A1222? Uh, and what does the roadmap look like? <coughs> Yes, yes, it's definitely feature complete. It's, you have to have both the MIGOS and Enhancer, though, to make it feature complete. The two together make it complete. And that's what we deliver when you buy a board. So if you buy a board, you get feature complete with all the licenses you need, everything ready to go. And then uh, what's the roadmap? Yeah, that was the question. Well, that depends on uh, the players involved. So that's Hyperion and Aeon to figure that out. So not your department. Not my department. <laughs> <laughs> but there's someone you know. You know there's, there's, some, there's some people here that yeah. might know. <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Now, uh, just, just to reiterate, that's like the top view of this process. I actually wrote scripts to automate most of it. And my manual steps, I think I sent it to Trevor, was, man, what was it, three pages long? Yeah. All the steps if you did it manually? It's not easy. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got to make this easier. <laughs> so you're not automating the automating of the boot? <laughs> yeah, I automated my automate. <laughs> I did. I had lots of scripts. Yeah. I was thinking about, uh, you know, giving them away for free, the scripts, because as long as you have those two files, you can make your own. Okay. You need the ISO file and you need the LHA file. Right, right. And those you, you get with the purchase of a board. I suppose one thing that you could say is that do not modify your USB recovery drive. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, yeah, don't play with it. That's what the, your main hard drive is for at the bottom. You just This is for emergencies. Don't use it regularly. Because it's slow, right? Booting off USB and using USB is slow. So. It's actually quite fast. Compared no. to CD ROMs later on, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's way faster than CD ROMs. Yeah. yeah. Way faster. Yeah. Is there like is there an iOS 14 that you also leave, like producing that ISO that you mentioned earlier? Yes. yes. So if I remember that. correctly, that ISO at least a few years ago had a bunch of floppy disk images in it that you also need to mount. Oh yeah, you're right. Now there, there's even more extras. On the Amiga OS CD, yeah, I didn't even touch those. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Like initially, Amiga OS was on floppy disks, maybe yeah. seven, five or seven floppy yeah. disks. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of extras. Moving to an ISO many years ago, probably before mm -hmm. you started, and then now it's inside a USB stick and GFS. So there's three layers now. So at some point, someone should probably flatten it. Yeah, it flatten it out and make it up. make it a nicer package. No, not not saying not saying you should, but no, I agree. Like it, I agree. It's it's a yeah, it's about time. <laughs> it's about time. Yeah, and I forgot that there's also extra, there's extras on the Amigo OS ISO 
But I, I didn't even touch them. I just did default install for the emergency, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you can actually go back and install some of those if you want. There's a bunch of extras and there's run in UAE and uh, there's ADF images on there and oh man, what else is on there? There's a whole bunch of stuff. Is the 68K OS also there? Yeah, yeah, and the ROM images are there. Yeah, you're, the, you get the ROM images too for the 3.0, 3.1, 2. Point something. Those are all there. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they're included on the ISO. Yeah. yeah. That has historical value. Yeah, yeah. But I, again, I didn't put it on the emergency. It's, it's emergency. <laughs> but you, you do. You did buy them when you bought the license. Yeah. Yeah. So you can put those up. Yep. How Question? about the contributions? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The extras, contributions, they're all there. But I didn't put them on the emergency. But you, you did, because I, I remember seeing that you added directory opens the newest version as opposed to the older version. Oh, the extra extras. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't even mention it. Well, I sort of mentioned that. <laughs> then the extras, install desired extra software. So I was instructed to put all this other junk on there. <laughs> like, yeah, my, my boss there insisted on Dopus, so <laughs> I was not putting it on there, but he forced me. Tell your boss it's the right thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shell guy, so I don't care about the <laughs> uh, It was the free one. Well, 4, 2, and 5. Are both. 4, it's 4.2. Was it? Yeah. The five I don't want to run over the latest one. It is much faster. The source yeah. is available if you want to go fix it. I'll show up tomorrow. I'll bring my machine tomorrow. Okay, yeah. It'll, it'll be live over there at the back room. Yeah, back table there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's so much stuff. See, that's the thing about the emergency USB drive. How much more junk do you want to put on there? <laughs> so. Yeah, well, you're saving stuff. Can have somebody open so <laughs> you can get in and further fudge with stuff makes things a lot easier. Yeah, that was the argument. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that one. Yeah. I said, open a shell. <laughs> but no, not everybody Why does, does that. Shell? Yeah. You don't want to tell you, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's understandable. So we made it pretty. So when, when you get the board, you get a whole bunch of extra extras on there. I can't remember what they all were now. It was a year ago. <laughs> yeah. Who did the art for, for the uh, workbench? Uh, that was Ken Lester. Ken Lester. Yeah. Ken Lester. Yeah. The background? Yeah. 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 That was another change I did. Yeah, yeah. And then it was a nice surprising background. change. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of stuff. But we can thank Ken later. See, because I'm kind of a middleman, so I just do it up to all. <laughs> put this on, take that off. Put this on, take that off. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not going to argue. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to mention all the. That's. See, what we want to do is we want to make, um, well, at least Aeon wants to deliver USB emergency drives with every board going forward, right? I know Trevor or Matthew probably would agree that that's really the way to deliver the product these days, right? So hopefully every new Aeon product, whatever comes, will always have a USB emergency drive with it. So that's really a nice touch. It's, it's, it's really nice. But I want to mention how much trouble it is to make one. <laughs> it's not easy to make. You could do it on any store and set and, set and do a ISO. ISO again? Well, but you, no. you burn it. You burn it from the. No, the image. Yeah, the image. No you more ISOs. Burn, burn the image to a, a new stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have a whole bunch of images on there. Yeah, and it compresses down nice. It's like one quarter of the size from four gig down to one. So, yeah. so it compresses nicely. Uh, there's probably more, more uh, you know, optimizations you can make. And blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I don't want to take up any more time. So, thank you. I'll let the, the next guy go.